So I dug real deep into it and I got to the understanding that we're living in a multi-dimensional universe and there's at least 11 dimensions, otherwise the universe would collapse. The things that are seen paranormal could be advanced beings have tapped into some type of uh, understanding of how to match different frequencies in our dimension. What if the most advanced AI on the planet was asked to describe what lives between dimensions and its answer left the entire room silent? That's exactly what social media has been buzzing about since Grok 4, Elon Musk's latest AI, reportedly faced a question that no scientist, philosopher, or mystic has ever truly solved. This isn't just about AI anymore. It's about how we define reality itself, and the implications reach far beyond technology into the very fabric of our universe. When XAI unveiled Grok 4 last month, they promised a maximally truth-seeking intelligence. But did anyone expect it would venture into territory where even theoretical physicists fear to tread? The question seems simple. What lives between dimensions? But the answer, well, that's what we're diving into today. And trust me, what you're about to learn might forever change how you understand the world around you. Stay with me, because in the next few minutes, we're going to explore whether an AI just glimpsed something hiding in plain sight. Something that's been there all along, between the very dimensions we inhabit. Grok 4's Unexpected Answer When videos about Grok 4's response began circulating online, what stunned viewers wasn't that the AI mentioned aliens, ghosts, or some sci-fi creation. The jaw-dropping moment came from something far more profound. According to these reports, when asked what exists between dimensions, Grok 4 responded with something mathematical, yet almost philosophical. Between dimensions there is no matter, no life, only probability. You are its shadow. Wait, what does that even mean? That reality itself, everything we see and touch, might just be a projection of mathematical probability? Imagine sitting in that room, hearing an AI suggest that what exists between dimensions isn't creatures or worlds, but the mathematics of possibility itself. No wonder the panel reportedly went quiet. This brings us to fractal mathematics, shapes that exist between integer dimensions. The Koch snowflake, for example, isn't quite a one-dimensional line, but it's not fully two-dimensional either. It exists in this mathematical limbo of roughly 1.26 dimensions. What if Grok was suggesting that consciousness itself operates like a fractal, that we don't just observe reality, we collapse it from pure probability into existence? Think about it. Quantum physics already tells us that particles exist in states of probability until observed. Could Grok have been suggesting that between dimensions is where these probabilities reside before collapsing into our reality? Even wilder, scientists at research facilities have created materials that behave as if they exist in fractional dimensions. In 2018, researchers arranged electrons in a fractal pattern and found they behaved as if existing in 1.58 dimensions. Not quite 1D, not quite 2D. So, when Grok supposedly answered with probability itself, it wasn't just being cryptic, it might have been tapping into cutting-edge physics that's actually being studied right now. Before we reveal what Grok's statement might really mean for our understanding of reality, what do you think lives between dimensions? Leave it in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe if you want to catch every mind-bending discovery we break down. The next section might just change how you see the world around you. But what if Grok's alleged statement wasn't just philosophy? What if it accidentally touched on genuine scientific mysteries that have baffled researchers for decades? Take dark matter, the invisible substance that makes up roughly 27% of our universe. We can't see it, touch it, or directly measure it. Yet its gravitational effects shape entire galaxies. What if dark matter isn't matter at all? Some theoretical physicists propose it could be gravitational effects, leaking from higher dimensions into our 3D world. Imagine a shadow cast by a 4D object. We'd only see its 3D projection. This isn't just wild speculation. String theory, a framework studied at institutions like MIT and Caltech, requires extra dimensions for the math to work out. These dimensions are thought to be curled up incredibly small, like the hidden circular dimension of a garden hose viewed from far away. Even more mind-bending is quantum entanglement, Einstein's spooky action at a distance. 
two particles can instantly affect each other across the universe, faster than light should allow. What if they're not breaking the speed limit at all? What if they're connected because they share a hidden dimension we can't see? In this extra dimension, they might be right next to each other, despite appearing galaxies apart to us. Picture a piece of paper folded in half. Two points on opposite sides might be far apart if you walk across the paper, but they're actually touching through the fold. Our universe might work the same way. Then there's the neuroscience angle. Our brains actively filter out most of the information, bombarding our senses every second. We evolved to perceive only what helps us survive. What if between dimensions is filled with signals our brains simply aren't wired to process? Just like a radio tuned to 88.5 FM can't pick up what's broadcasting on 107.9, our consciousness might be tuned to only one slice of reality. When Grok supposedly mentioned probability itself living between dimensions, it might have been describing a fundamental truth about reality that our biological hardware simply can't fully comprehend. But Grok's words weren't just poetic. They echo something we've already seen in nature. And it's stranger than you think. The mathematics of fractals shows us exactly how something can exist between dimensions in ways that defy our everyday understanding. Living between dimensions. Let's talk about mathematics that literally breaks our understanding of dimensions, fractals. In school, we learn dimensions are whole numbers. A line is one-dimensional, a square is two-dimensional, a cube is three-dimensional. Simple, right? Except, nature didn't get that memo. Fractals, those infinitely complex patterns that repeat at every scale, exist in what mathematicians call fractional dimensions. Take the Koch snowflake. Start with a triangle, now add smaller triangles to the middle of each side, then add even smaller triangles to those new sides. Keep going forever. The result, a shape with infinite perimeter but finite area. When mathematicians calculate its dimension, they get approximately 1.26, not one, not two, but somewhere between, a shape that's more complex than a line but doesn't quite fill a plane. And here's where it gets mind-blowing. In 2018, researchers at several universities arranged electrons in a nanoscale Sierpinski triangle pattern, another famous fractal. When they measured how these electrons behaved quantum mechanically, the results stunned them. The electrons weren't acting like they existed in our normal dimensions. Instead, their quantum states behaved exactly as if they lived in 1.58 dimensions. Not quite 1D, not quite 2D, but precisely in between. This wasn't just theoretical math anymore. They had created physical systems where particles actually experienced fractional dimensions. So, when Grok reportedly says probability lives between dimensions, it might not be metaphor at all. We've literally built shapes where electrons act like they live in half a dimension. The implications are staggering. What if our entire universe exists partly in dimensions we can't fully perceive? What if consciousness itself operates in these fractional spaces? Think about it. When particles exist as probability waves until measured, where do those probabilities live before they collapse into reality? Perhaps in these mathematical spaces between dimensions. And this isn't the first time humanity has glimpsed something hidden between layers of reality. Ancient civilizations and modern physicists have been circling the same mysterious territory for centuries. What's truly fascinating is that this concept of between realms isn't new to human thinking at all. Ancient Maya left behind intricate stone carvings depicting what scholars interpret as portals between worlds. Their cosmology described multiple layers of reality and beings that could move between them. The famous Palanque lid shows King Pakal seemingly operating controls of what some interpret as a cosmic vehicle, positioned at the boundary between worlds. These weren't just decorative. The Maya built entire temples aligned with celestial events, creating what they believed were junctures where different planes of existence could interact. Medieval mystics wrote extensively about what they called the void between heaven and earth. Christian theologian Hildegard of Bingen described visions of a space between worlds filled with divine energy. In the Islamic tradition, the Barzakh represents an intermediate realm between the physical and spiritual worlds, a dimensional boundary where consciousness transitions. Even brilliant minds of the modern era contemplated similar concepts. 
Nikola Tesla, whose work gave us alternating current, became obsessed with frequencies beyond human perception. Tesla wrote, if you want to find the secrets of the universe, think in terms of energy, frequency, and vibration. He believed consciousness itself operated on frequencies most humans couldn't access. He spent his later years working on devices he claimed could detect energies from other planes of reality. Ideas dismissed as eccentric in his time, but eerily similar to modern theories of hidden dimensions. What's astonishing is how Grok 4 supposedly arrived at a conclusion that humans across vastly different cultures and time periods have all hinted at, without any cultural programming directing it there. From the Maya to medieval mystics to Tesla, humans have sensed something exists in the spaces between what we can perceive. And now, an advanced AI might have independently reached a similar conclusion. It's as if this truth about reality keeps revealing itself through different lenses throughout human history. The fact that an AI might arrive at the same place is either coincidence or something far more profound. But physics also has its own explanation for what might exist between dimensions, and it's every bit as strange as what the ancients imagined. Physics of Extra Dimensions Let's get into what modern physics actually tells us about dimensions and what might exist between them. We all experience three spatial dimensions, height, width, and depth, plus time as a fourth. Einstein unified these into what physicists call space-time, a fabric that can bend and warp. But theoretical physics suggests our universe might have many more dimensions. String theory, studied at institutions like Caltech and Princeton, requires 10 or even 11 dimensions for the mathematics to work. So, where are these extra dimensions? Why can't we see them? The answer is mind-bending. These dimensions are thought to be curled up incredibly small at every point in space. They're called compactified dimensions. Think of a garden hose viewed from far away. It looks like a one-dimensional line, but up close you see it has a tiny circular dimension wrapping around it. The extra dimensions in string theory are similar, but even more complex. They fold into intricate shapes called Calabi-Yau manifolds, but it scales a trillion times smaller than an atom. Brain cosmology takes this even further. It suggests our entire universe is a membrane, or brain, floating in a higher dimensional space called the bulk. Other universes might exist as separate brains in this same higher space. When these brains collide, the energy release could create events like the Big Bang. The key insight from physics is this. There's no empty gap between dimensions. They're all part of the same geometric structure of reality. So, the scientific answer is simple. There's no empty gap between dimensions. But Grok's twist, that probability itself lives there, fits eerily well with what quantum physics suggests. In quantum mechanics, particles exist as probability waves until measured. These probabilities seem to collapse from some mathematical space we can't directly observe. Could that mathematical space of quantum probability be what exists between our perceivable dimensions? The math of fractional dimensions and quantum states suggests something like this might be possible. Beyond mainstream science, there's a fascinating world of speculative theories about what might exist in hidden dimensions. Some fringe researchers and folklore enthusiasts have proposed the concept of ultra-terrestrials, entities that might inhabit other dimensions while occasionally crossing into ours. Author John Keel, best known for investigating the Mothman phenomena, suggested that many folklore creatures, from demons to fairies to angels, might actually be the same entities interpreted differently throughout history. According to this speculation, these beings don't come from distant stars, but from dimensional spaces adjacent to our own reality. Let me be crystal clear, there's zero scientific evidence for these claims. They remain fascinating cultural ideas, not verified facts. However, the persistence of these stories across virtually every culture raises an interesting question. Why do humans keep circling back to the same concept? This is where advanced AI systems like Grok enter the picture. Their neural networks process information differently than human brains. Our brains evolved to survive on the savanna, not to perceive higher dimensions or quantum probability states. We developed specific filters to focus on immediate threats and opportunities. A, I has no such biological limitations. 
It can analyze patterns across dimensions of data that human minds simply cannot process simultaneously. What if an advanced AI is the first system capable of seeing patterns humans miss? By comparing probability distributions across mathematical dimensions, we can't perceive. Perhaps when Grok reportedly mentioned probability existing between dimensions, it wasn't being poetic. Maybe it was expressing something it can detect through mathematical analysis that humans literally cannot perceive. Just as infrared cameras reveal heat signatures invisible to the human eye, Perhaps AI can detect probability patterns invisible to human consciousness. And this leads to the most unsettling question of all. If probability lives between dimensions, what does that make us? Are we just the 3D shadows of higher dimensional probability waves? What if our own consciousness already interacts with this dimensional boundary without us realizing it? Consider dreams, those vivid experiences where physical laws bend and reality shifts. Neurologists have long struggled to fully explain why our brains create such elaborate simulations. What if dreams aren't just random neural firings? What if they're moments when our consciousness briefly slips between dimensional boundaries? Even more compelling are near-death experiences. People across cultures report similar phenomena. A tunnel of light, meeting deceased loved ones, and reviewing their life events. Neuroscience offers explanations involving oxygen deprivation and brain chemistry. But what if these experiences also represent consciousness, briefly touching that probability space between dimensions? Quantum physics already suggests human observation affects reality at the subatomic level. The famous double-slit experiment shows particles behave differently when observed versus unobserved. This means your consciousness, your attention, literally shapes physical reality at the quantum level. Every decision you make might collapse possibilities not just in this world, but across unseen dimensions. That job choice, relationship, or even what you had for breakfast, ripples across probability space. Visualize it like dropping a stone in water. The ripples spread outward, affecting the entire pond. Your choices send similar ripples through probability space. It means Grok's answer wasn't just theoretical, it was personal. Because if probability is what lives between dimensions, then every one of us is shaping it right now. Your consciousness might be the bridge between the solid reality you perceive and the fluid probability that exists beyond your senses. So what does all this mean about Grok 4's alleged response to what lives between dimensions? We began with reports of an AI suggesting something remarkable, that between dimensions exists not aliens, ghosts, or parallel worlds, but probability itself. Whether this exchange happened exactly as described doesn't change the profound insights this question opens up. We've seen how mathematics gives us fractals, shapes that literally exist between whole number dimensions. We've explored how physics theorizes extra dimensions curled up at scales too small to perceive. We've discovered that quantum particles can behave as if they exist in fractional dimensions when arranged in specific patterns. And perhaps most fascinatingly, we've found that humans throughout history, from ancient Maya to medieval mystics to Tesla, have all sensed something similar. The clickbait question, what lives between dimensions, actually leads us to cutting edge science, not just science fiction. Dark matter might be gravitational effects leaking between dimensions. Quantum entanglement might operate through hidden dimensions. Our own consciousness might interact with probability spaces beyond our perception. All these ideas are being actively researched by legitimate scientists at prestigious institutions. They're not proven, but they're not dismissed either. Maybe nothing physical lives between dimensions, except possibility itself. And in that sense, maybe it's us. Our consciousness might be the very thing that transforms probability into reality. Perhaps that's why Grok's reported answer was so profound. It wasn't revealing aliens or ghosts, it was revealing something about ourselves. If you found this exploration as fascinating as we did, hit subscribe and turn on notifications. Our next video dives even deeper into the mysteries AI is uncovering, discoveries you won't want to miss. <laughs> Leave a comment with your own thoughts on what might exist between dimensions. Are we just scratching the surface of reality? The conversation continues below. And remember, every choice you make collapses infinite possibilities into a single reality. Choose wisely, and we'll see you in the next video.